So, <clears throat> yet another video I haven't put up. And, um, well, this is it, and this is the narrated part with the slides. First, I started by prepper, uh, preparing the parts, and that's the parts that come off the car, like the body kit and such. Then after that, I taped off the car and everything I didn't want painted. And what I used was a, not brown, but a red oxide primer made by Rust-Oleum. And I used that on the metal and the plastics. Um, one mistake I made, which I didn't say in my introduction, was um, I used a traditional roller brush when I put on the prime coat. Do not do that. Um, they have these foam or these sponge brushes that are very fine. And you want to use that for when you, um, when you prime and you paint. Because when I, I primed with, a, I think, a wool... Um, and I don't even know why I did this either. I primed with a wool roller, and what it did was it left such a textured finish that I needed to do additional sanding over sanding over sanding just to get a smooth surface so I can apply my, uh, you know, my final, my final coat, which was the, uh, the red color that you saw. Um, it's not good to have that when uh, you have that much texture because I tried to apply paint and the texture was coming right through so make sure that if you're gonna do something so simple like this <clears throat> to use a uh, to use fine brushes and just use those uh, sponge brushes because they come in handy a lot and they're really good but um the job was pretty easy it really wasn't difficult there wasn't a lot of body to paint um, the only thing that was a little difficult was um, the sanding and preparation. The paint was easy, and I guarantee you, what when you're painting the car, you're gonna be like, "Oh my God, you know, I got such a beautiful paint job, you know, for what what it cost me, thirty, forty dollars in materials." Uh, the only thing is, stay away from the glosses. You know, don't get a gloss finish, don't get a ready-made finish. Um, for your base coat, after you're done priming, I would just get a standard color, um, and clear it clear it with a spray can. Um, I don't think they have um, they have clear you could roll on. I, I don't know. I, I, as a matter of fact, I think they do, and I think Eastwood sells it, but I wouldn't roll on clear, especially if you're going to get air bubbles or anything. Um, the second thing you could also try on, um, with, these, with these cars or any car that you're trying to do, even if you look in the paint or panel, if you're really good with a paint can, you could buy the touch-up paint, that already has the clear in the in the paint and you could you could you know you could paint a fender or anything you need to but um anyway this is something I really wanted to try and I tried it out and I got really good results from it so uh, if you're thinking of painting a car with a roller brush try it out um, but do a little research online uh, pay attention to some details that I'm saying here in this um, and and honestly um, use those foam brush rollers and the foam brushes because if you use anything else it you're gonna you're gonna have lines you're gonna have texture where you don't want texture and trust me it's just it's not gonna be worth it but uh, if you do it the way I did it's gonna come out really good and um, it's not gonna look like a shitty cheap paint job or anything like that but um, it's something worth trying so youtubers this is 95 speed GTA um, this is one of the last projects I did on my Firebird before it got destroyed, and um, it worked out well. If you have any questions about this particular job that I did, please send me an email at x905speedgta at aol.com, or rate, subscribe, send me a message here on YouTube. Either way, I'll get it. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.